today. We have come for an, a long weekend. It's Thursday and we're in the Yorkshire Dales. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful countryside. Cracken House Farm is absolutely a gem. And the owner, Richard, he's actually currently over there behind us. He is just so funny. He's brilliant. He's such a good chap. He's given us a tour around, so you shall meet him. And uh, yeah, it's just a lovely place to stay. So quiet, so peaceful. So we're gonna have a quick bit of dinner, got a little glass of wine, and then we're gonna go and get a drink. Well, we're gonna try the walk to the pub. Up the lane and uh, that way, I think, isn't it? Yes, yeah, purely for uh, research that we're going to go and find the yeah, pub. Doing Obviously it for this... we're doing it for you, sake of the channel, really, and for all of you that want to come here. <laughs> have a proper drink. <laughs> Gin tea, babe. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to a long weekend. Well, what a beautiful morning. Good morning. So, Katie's looking very clean there. So that's down to the great tip from Martin at Caravan Nut, who recommended some cleaning materials. Got Thank a you. YouTube channel. Yeah, he's got a great YouTube channel. Check out. Which way should we go? Let's go up this way. Beautiful campsite here. Beautiful day. We're heading off to, amongst other places, Asgarth, but we're going to take a bit of a, day, a detour to go round a lot of uh, hills and explore some of the area. We've got about three hours before we need to be off site, so we've got a bit of time. So this is Wensley. Dales National Park. You are about to enter. And don't we know it? Hills already. Holy crap, we've gone wrong.
Wow. Wish it was like this all the time. <laughs> Weather and campsite. Yeah. Oh, it's been a stunning stop, hasn't it? Richard is a superstar. Loved it. So good here. Yeah, definitely recommend it. This is the bottom. Side. Oh, how pretty is this? Yeah. Well, this. Oh. This is made up of thirteen pitches, and again. Um, what's nice about that, oh, the big field is lovely, but it's a bit sort of uniform. Where oh, this down so here pretty. is just absolutely stunning. Oh, I've never seen anything nice. like it, actually. It's very well manicured, isn't <laughs> it? Not bad grass, is it? It stripes down the bottom. Oh though. my <laughs> god. Just, that's how come I'm with my yeah. mother now, just cleaning it. <laughs> but this obviously, in different years, gets a little flattened with you, but this year it's just been, um, with oh, it being no, like rested it. for a while, it's just looking a little bit better. It looks now, lovely. this gives you southwesterly views. Um, the pictures, as you can see, are a fair good size. We're all on grass and they just go right down to the bottom. And Happy as you day. see, there's no room in the inn for a Thursday night. Yeah. yeah. And then, obviously, if you're a bit more central or you're in the two sort of island pitches there, again, cars don't get round. Mm. So yeah, that's so a quiet. nice pitch, isn't it? They all are, to be Lovely fair. Views. Even this one. So yeah. you can even park sideways on if you want, if yeah. that suits the format of your vehicle, because you've got like the continental door, haven't you, on yeah. the driver's side? Yeah. So again, you can drive in forwards, backwards, sideways, not on your roof, as I always say. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So this is the bottom side. So the nicest thing is, if you ever return, Roughly, the centre of the number is the centre of the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you've got a caravan, it's a bit more critical because you've got your own in, and then you've got your car. But yeah. if you're in a motorhome, anywhere sensibly between the two to either side works. Brilliant. And that's why when people return on a regular basis, they normally have a number on the chalkboard 
uh, and they just help themselves. Mm -hmm. Literally. Lovely. And then when you know where you're going, you know where the water is, there's various water taps. Obviously, if you're going down further down, there's a water tap if it's on the driver's side, and there's a water tap on here if it's on the passenger side, etc. And it's just simple. But if you make it, it's lovely, isn't it? So, what, what's your season, and when, when do you start and finish? We are very lucky. We actually were granted a 365 day license when foot and mouth hit, when mum and father in law were actually farming to sort of boost um, yeah. uh, the, the tourist industry. Because we're on grass, and you know motorhomes a bit like a duck on ice. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, what we do is, first of March, everything is all up and running. The washrooms are all repainted, disinfected, ready for the season. We normally get people on around about the 12th. The diary is pretty similar, and then till the end of November. But because we can have people on, and I keep the services on all of the time for the water and everything to go through, so it prevents things happening. Unless it's really icy, then you can turn them off. If someone just rocks up in November or January or February, if you don't mind parking on this little bit of a road, bear in mind there's nobody else on, yeah. you've just got the whole site wow. and, and it works. But yeah. like you say, you'll have been on grass before. Have you been yeah. rode out yet? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Yeah. We're at the beginning stages, isn't we? Yeah, we've got a lovely little tractor, so we'll yeah. throw you out. Yeah. With electricity, oh, we've got all this. Oh, wow. Rather sleek. What's nice about it is, you're on the campsite, but you're not with any others. Mm. So if there's like two families, or yeah. a couple of friends, or just you on your own, you've got the picnic bench, you've got the sun all day as it goes round as well, and you're just away from everybody, so it's totally private. Mm. Yeah, you can hear the... Oh, so, some people can't lovely. sleep with that. I've had a couple oh, of people that have, that have said, how oh, can you move me if I can't sleep with that?